Brian Olson. Play lead guitar in the band, Fall From Grace. Uh... That's about it. <laughs> My name is Kenny Bates. Uh, I've been playing drums now for about 12 years. I play other instruments as well, but it's uh, definitely my forte. Big Ken, play bass. I drink a lot of beer. I drive a lot. I got a job and shit. A couple of dogs. It's cool. Uh, my name is Trig Sebastian Littlefield. I play guitar and sing in Fall From Grace. My bandmates um, are awesome. It's, it's rare when you can find a band or a group of guys that are, are compatible and can communicate effectively to one another, you know. Uh, as with any team or organization, we, we go through problems. Fucking assholes. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't want to strangle each and every fucking one. But what helps with getting through those problems is the communication. We don't have a problem talking to each other and expressing what we're going through. But I love them still, you know. I love them. They're pretty much my family. I'm, I'm with them every day. Couldn't uh, ask for better people to play with. They're my brothers, man. They're the first time that I can honestly say um, you know, I've played in other bands here and there and stuff, but I've been with these guys. I've been with, with the Kens and Brian for about a year and a half now, and I've known them, known all these guys for about five, five, six years, and um, they, uh, they're, they're my family, dude. I mean, I love them like, like my brothers, the most genuine people I've got in my life. You know, we're, we're family, we're tight, we're a crew. And you have to be in order to be able to do this. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't just fall together. So they're rad. I love them. I wouldn't change out our lineup for the world. Except for Trig. Yeah, I love it. 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 Okay, so after uh, a really harrowing week with Fall From Grace, uh, I've really decided that, uh, and this was a hard decision, I decided I'd quit. And, uh, well, I'm no longer the drummer for Fall From Grace, and uh, this is my replacement, Travis Barker. Cut it up. Way better than me. I've known Kenny since he was 17, and I saw him play, and he's the one guy that that I can honestly say as far as behind the kid that I saw, and I was just like, I gotta know, I gotta get to know this guy. And so him and I developed a relationship, and uh, you know, gave him all the time in the world. I didn't even know that we were actually gonna be serious about doing this, and um, we wrote Rise from the Ashes. Brian and I wrote it became Rise from the Ashes, and then Kenny, the Kens came in and arranged it, and gave birth to those songs. And so, you know, like, like I stipulated a little bit earlier, uh, Heroes Don't Prevail was kind of, you know, Brian wrote those words, and Brian wrote the words of Final Days, and I wrote uh, Roses to Black, and Self Destruct, and Doing Cold, and Last Breath of Me. Like sometimes I'll have music written already, um, and then Trig will hear it, and he's like, whoa, or he'll have some lyrics, and all of a sudden I just have this idea in my head with lyrics and to make it happen. Our style of writing has gotten a lot better. You, you can really, really tell the intricacies of, of what we all play more. I'm, I'm a busier bass player. I'm not just an in-the-pocket bass player anymore. I, I do a lot of carrying. And, uh, you know, we've basically let Brian cut loose and do whatever he fucking wants to do. And trig is trig. He is, we don't, 
utilize Trig as much as we could, but uh, that's probably a good thing so we can have more stage presence and shit, you know. Oh, the music evolved big time. Um, the first album, uh, Rise from the Ashes, was done, was actually written with me and Trig and Ken before Ken even joined the band. And that was, you know, like a month and a half, two months. And then uh, Ken joined it. And uh, we recorded the album Rise from the Ashes like a month after we were together. The new record, uh, it, it, most of the songs are comprised of uh, issues and, and feelings and uh, uh, hard, hard stuff that each of the members have been through. Um, each, each song, I think, represents um, something that's totally, I mean, it, it totally tells a story about a certain thing that at least one of the members has been through, if not all of them. And Covered in Scars is the one that we're doing the video today for. That encompasses uh, Brian's accident that he was in. The car accident I got into five years ago. Where uh, <clears throat> drunk driver was driving on our side of the road lane with no lights on about one o'clock in the morning. And I woke up about three weeks later. Uh, ruptured aorta, paralyzed vocal cord, all ribs broken, shoulder broken, knee broken. Um, good times. <laughs> he was actually uh, declared dead for a moment or two, and. and that was the inspiration behind Covered in Scars. I can't say it's my favorite song on the record because I love them all, but it definitely is uh, one of the most powerful songs on the record. My yeah. voice is all messed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, he's cut. Um, yeah, w one of the greatest moments in my life ever that I never experienced in any other band was stopping playing and looking into the audience and the audience carrying the chorus in Blue and Cold for the very first time. And that to me made me feel like I had a part in, 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 in all of our friends' lives. Something that, that started in my bedroom on a piece of pad, a piece of paper and the pen became so important to so many people. The greatest accomplishment we've ever had is finding each other when we're on the road because we always end up in different places and different houses and different beds and different rooms. And uh, it's kind of like a recon, recon mission every morning on the road. Thank God for cell phones. In the short run, um, I expect that uh, in a year, we'll, uh, we'll be signed and on the road. And uh, we'll, we'll keep uh, we'll keep rolling up the ladder as uh, a powerhouse in Washington State. The sure one to fuel my uh, my appetite to write music and write good music, and um, in the long run, the same. I, mean, I, I plan on playing music for a long time, so go figure. Um, but for the long run. Uh, we're gonna do our best to take over. We don't want to stop, you know. Once we hit the road, I don't foresee us uh, coming back for too long and staying at home. You know, we'll play our shows, but we we want to do this for the rest of our lives. We want to do it for a living, and uh, we're not we're not messing around about it. <laughs> hey, Trick, turn it off. Trick. He's right there. I know he's deaf.
Is he really? Yeah, he's, he's really dope. Uh, we're going to release an EP that's got a couple songs on the record coming out. The Covenant Scars is one of the songs. And uh, Pet Cemetery, we're going to release on it. And we're going to tour that EP. And then uh, that's short run, what we're doing right now. Long run, this video is going to be released. And uh, we're going to release our full length on a label. And, um, you know, take over the world. <laughs> um, I think we're going to be real busy in the next year with every th all the groundwork that we've already laid and our obvious intense work ethic and uh, the people that have our backs to be able to get to where we're going.